pre-recorded live post oil change it's the Derek Luna show this week the chief justices part two of our joint session plus the makeshift monologue one of many shows he'll be doing from a parking lot. It's Derek Luna. All right. And that's correct. This won't be the last show that I do from a parking lot. We're here. We just got the oil changed. We're getting ready to head back out on the road. I will tell you those dates momentarily. But uh, first, I, I finally got some traction on the makeshift monologue. I reached out. On social media and I got some monologue jokes related to oil changes so here we go ZQ my man Zachy Q why did the mechanic sleep under his car because he wanted to wake up oily in the morning I think you have to say morning like that to make it work oily in the morning I don't know good stuff also, why didn't the mechanic want to bring the car off of the hydraulic lift? Because he didn't want to let it down. Great stuff. I feel like we're reading Bazooka Joe jokes, and that's great, and I'm into it. Why did the mechanic install a piano in his car? So he could tune it. So he could tune it. <laughs> great stuff. Those were... Uh, brought to you by Zachy G. Zachy Q. Sorry. My bad. Uh, Mike Reem sent in this joke. Uh, it's more of a prank than a joke. She, she suggested uh, that we ask for the front brake light to be fixed. I feel like mechanics would not find that humorous. And uh, this is sort of car related, but I'll count it. My man Timmy Miano sent, uh, what do you call somebody who converts to a different religion after a tornado? A cataclysmic converter. I really like that one. That one's great. All right, so we are coming to you from the oil change uh, destination. I'm getting back out on the road. Here are some upcoming dates where you can see me live. March 31st, I'll be in Bloomer, Wisconsin. April 1st, Cedar River, Michigan. I'm, he I'm heading up north. Uh, April 6th, I'll be heading down south for this weekend. I'll be going April 6th to Huntsville. April 7th in Atlanta. And April 8th in Carrollton, Illinois. Uh, during that trip, I'll be recording an entire episode from a Bucky's parking lot. From a Bucky's travel stop, I guess you'd call them. It's not exactly a gas station. But look forward to that. Uh, next week, uh, it's the opening day of baseball season, so I had my man Harrison Broadstreet on the show. We talked a little bit about baseball, talked a little bit about the World Baseball Classic and uh, the political nature of the whole event. Uh, that's a good talk. Make sure you tune in next week for that one. Uh, this week, just part two of my sit-down with the Chief Justices. Uh, we, we had part one last week. If you missed that, go back and check that out. Uh, it's a fun convo, a little bit wild, a little bit off the rails, um, but check that out, enjoy it. Make sure you tell your friends about this, uh, like it, subscribe, and share it. We'll see you next week. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Derek Luna Show. Uh, thank you so much to Corbin Lamaster, Carter Fancook, and Harrison Broadstreet for joining me. Remind me at the end we'll do uh, promos again for part two. For all 20 people watching. So if you missed part one, uh, go check that out. But part two, we were just digging into Harrison's love life. Harrison lives on We're all a rocking black and white shoes. Yeah, we're like... A, we're like 
if we had the sweatpants, we could all commit suicide tonight <laughs> in a yes. motel room. <laughs> it was a house. Heaven's, Gate, a house. Sti- Heaven's, Heaven's Gate. Gate style. I'd be down Black for that. Black Nikes, dude. Black Nikes. I'd be down for that. What else am I doing around here? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Slinging these but jokes. Harrison lives on a magic school bus that he converted into a weird dormitory. He's a homeless man. Uh, he poops in a bucket. <laughs> he de- he does have a bucket to shit in, and uh, and he still talks ladies into coming over and making love to him in this bus. We want to know how. We want to know. <laughs> we want to know what's going on. We want to know all about it. Look, when you got game like this, you can fuck in a box. Are you All using right. drugs? Are you using performance enhancing <laughs> drugs? <laughs> no drugs. I'm they're clean, They're investigating dude. a bar downtown for roofies. I'm like, clean. All right. Clean as can be. Yeah, dude. All right. I got. I, I've been trying to make. It, I've told you. I've told you all this. I've been trying to make jokes about how hard it is, but guys, I'm what would you do if you got something in the bus? Got something? Yeah. Like what do you mean? Something. Again? <laughs> what do you, you, well, you can't catch what you don't have. Wait, you can't catch what you do have. Yeah. You can catch what you don't have. Yeah, but you can't catch what you do have. That's what I was trying to say. You have something? <laughs> I've had friendship. Don't let him have this mic again. <laughs> <laughs> is, this a, is this a breaking, you uh, you announcing something to the Chief Justice? Yeah, is it honestly, is it oral? Is yeah, it I, guys, fecal? I, What's your, what kind of I did have to you tell you all this. What are you doing? Are you going to the film something? Um... I, I'm glad that we can all do this because I feel like this is a safe place. But I do, I I tested positive for being dope. Jesus. Having wow. game, son. And that's how it happens. You wanted to know. I can't hear it. Oh, it's the magic school bus. I need to, like, that's what I need to do. I need to come up with a song, my own song to the Magic School Bus. I need to remake it on the school bus. Oh, shit. That's going to be dope. Did you really go to the bathroom in the middle of this? How unprofessional is this podcast? I feel like it it's going matter. great. Who cares? I feel like it's going great. Carter and Corbin have barely been here to begin with, so. I feel like I've been co- I, I feel like I've been contributing a lot. No, everything's been great, guys. This has been... <laughs> <laughs> it just got way worse. We got a fun <laughs> night of comedy tonight, don't we? Hey, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. So we got open jokes. mic. I'm thinking about doing post-game open mic. Yeah. You know, see what people, th- what their thoughts are about their jokes. I'm down. Look, I just want to put this out there. I don't have anything. All right. I, I'm... Co- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're HIV free. HIV hey. Free. Do you guys know that uh, uh, they have a pill to protect you from HIV and AIDS? Yeah. Oh, Discovery hey. for prep. I mean, not to sorry to plug. I've been taking it for months. Yeah. I grew the mustache back just so I could make my jokes about looking like I have AIDS. Man, it's just, that's a good investment. That's a bold strategy. <laughs> Tossing the hat in the middle. You use, oh, oh, man. Are you Philadelphia? Where are you? What Does are that you? help? You could be you AIDS could or cancer. Clinton. Cancer, meth, AIDS. San Quentin. You lost everything but the mustache. For some reason, even the chemo didn't want that mustache. <laughs> <laughs> even the chemo didn't want Derek's Buyers Club. Dude, yeah, yeah. You look like a line cook also. Like, I mean, you honestly look like somebody. I've you do with. look like milk. Have you seen the movie The Bear? <laughs> <laughs> I, look like I, I look like a guy in the 70s who fought for gay rights. Yeah, yeah. You you're Harvey Milk's, like, right-hand man. You remember. <laughs> and you know what Harvey Milk does with his right hand? <laughs> <laughs> Milks. He gets votes. Yeah. <laughs> he jerks off with the left hand. That milkshake brings all the boys to the <laughs> should, I do the, should I do part two as Harvey Milk's right hand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah there's some lotion spray on your face. <laughs> <laughs> some coconut spray tan lotion. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The table over there looks like a table you get jerked off on. Waiting for this was the creepiest. <laughs> it was the creepiest I've ever felt. Yeah. Waiting, uh, waiting to come into this room, <laughs> knowing there was, which is being used as a salon. They're doing spray tans in here this evening, and, 
And Carter these, thought they were squirting on each and other. And these four, <laughs> these four gross assholes are waiting in the lobby, like, hey, you done with your spray tans yet so we can go hang out? Uh, yeah, Corbin was adamant they were in here squirting instead of spraying on tan. Well, even even though he was, you were adamant and came in and smelled everything no, that they had touched. A, no, I, including their That's vaginas. why your nose is so bronzed right now. I feel like they were rude about that. Your nose is going through its own... <laughs> Your nose is going through its own bronze era. <laughs> no, they couldn't. You don't do that right after a fresh tan. It'll wash it all away. Waist down, at least. You can't squirt after a fresh tan. Oh. <laughs> I was like, you can't go smell it after a fresh tan because I watched you. Uh, I deny all these allegations. Yeah, well, at least you don't have fucking AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting accused of being a creep. I'm getting accused of... Passing around weird E. coli uh, Dude, I'll check my privilege. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I just that. grabbed the microphone out of Harrison's hand. Like, Give me that. <laughs> I don't think you know what you're doing. You just need to stop. <laughs> just stop. Stop him. <laughs> Somebody stop him. <laughs> oh, man. This so tonight, what do we got? We're going to do an open mic. Yep. Wing goes over at the Blue Room Comedy Club. He just texted us that he bombed hard. Yeah. No. Nope. I don't know. Is he going to come be sad all over the place? I hope yeah. not. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> He's probably going to see this. He probably won't watch it, will he? No, probably not. Even if he does, he knows we love him. What's up, Wingo? We love you, Wingo. We love you, buddy. <laughs> we love you, Wingo. We miss you. We're not talking shit behind you. I'll tell you all the stuff yeah. that we said. Exactly. I'm super head. pumped that you're going to New York. Yeah, yeah, we'll see ya. Uh, I felt my phone vibrate, and I was, yeah, we'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see ya. This new guy taking his place <laughs> is so casual I about. Love Wingo. No, I love <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. The best regards. Anyway. So anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'm getting a spot. Uh, it's Carter Fan Cook at uh, fucking coxout dot com. <laughs> Best wishes, get well soon. Wingo. <laughs> like, Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> so fucking In remembrance. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no. I mean, no, I'll do it. I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so uh, next issue. What is, why is it so hard to get love in the text thread uh, with our jokes, guys? It's meant to help each other. We text these jokes to the text thread, and fucking nobody likes the jokes that I write. <laughs> and why aren't you guys laughing? I, I have I have this for a solution. I'll take it back now. I have this for a solution. <laughs> We're both getting worked up and angry. It's fine. I'll take it. I will, I will agree to, from now on, at least give, if I like the joke, to at least give an emoticon reaction. That's all I just, so, just so I'm not, I'm yes, just so that we're all like, okay, there might be something there. Let yeah. me fuck with it. Instead of just like, everybody's like, yeah, that's dog shit. We're not. Well, then, yeah. Silence. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't like it, then it's just like, oh, okay, back to the same thing. Of like, well, I guess this is shit. Yeah, I didn't get the joke, and there were like multiple things said underneath it, but you know, I didn't put myself in your shoes. That there would hurt. Are, so I, yeah, next time, I'll, I'll ha-ha it. Yeah, why don't you think about I'll it? Ha-ha it. There are a lot of jokes I don't I get. I thinking about the novel. I'll be throwing away some real diamonds here, guys. <laughs> you got it. And I'm too, I'm too insecure to be like, hey, I don't get that. You have to have. Faith I don't in your understand. Diamonds. Yeah, what that exactly. Means. I've, we're both insecure, I guess, because we neither yeah. of us said shit. You got to speak up about the Navajos. That's what we learned, <laughs> and that's what right, I. We'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we learned is that now that Wingo's gone, uh, are you going to just take that from me? Now that Wingo's gone, I'll be the sad member of the group uh, because I realize how retarded all my friends are. <laughs> how about that? You uh, got friends other than us. It though. bums me out. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta have Not any friends. real friends. <laughs> oh well, shit. not like real friends. <laughs> so, you, to write jokes, you don't need to know how to read. I've always thought that was. <laughs> I've always thought that was interesting. I nobody else seems to. You can be completely illiterate and probably be a really great comic, and write great jokes. Look at Harrison. Look at Harrison. He has the illiterate part down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might be illiterate, but I'm great. Uh, I'm great at not reading. Great at not read good. So tell us a, so tell us a joke then. <laughs> <laughs> He's so great. You know? Well, uh, your nose is... Fuck. Oh, I always forget. Hack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do sound effects now. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been wanting them. I'm, I tailored the part one to sound effects. But it is just dyslexia or something, though, right? Or no, it's just full-blown full illiteracy. <laughs> That's dedication. It's just full-blown not reading. Man, there's so many apps and shit. Like, I just can't imagine. Just watch videos. There's a ton of stuff that, like, I think is funny that as soon as you joke about it, people are bummed out. Like, illiteracy, I think, is super <laughs> hilarious. Homelessness, I think, is super funny, too. But people just get bummed out about it. Dude, I wonder how many illiterate homeless people there are. <laughs> oh, man, it's the leading cause of being illiterate is I've homeless. A, like, uh, hero, heroin addiction. Another thing I think is, like, so funny. H-E-R-O-I. You're addicted, you're, addicted to, <laughs> you're addicted to something that makes you just pass out in the middle of the street. I love it. It's tired. crazy. <laughs> like... So one day, when but the these cloak things bum other people out, and I find them, you know, everybody knows race, abortion, those bum people out. But I'm finding new. <laughs> you're, so you're saying we I'm beat finding, those over the I'm head. finding new ways to uh, upset people. I feel like homeless. Why is, can't we make fun of homeless people, guys? They don't matter. Have you I don't think they matter <laughs> at all. <laughs> The other day I ran over a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you did. If be, if people aren't responding to the, did you really do <laughs> it? <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a way better story than what the fuck I was going to say. The reason that people are addicted to something that they just fall asleep in the middle of the street is because that's home to them. When you're homeless, you can just fall asleep anywhere. Yeah, honestly. Oh, you're mixing the two, heroin addiction and homeless. homeless heroin and illiterate oh, yeah. probably. I mean, that's a lot of the same guys showing up to yeah. those like, a, meetings. My like, sister was like super naive uh, country Midwest lady, and I brought her to L.A. for the first time. And we were on the red line, and everyone on there during the day is a heroin addict. And she was like, is, why is everybody so tired? Because everybody was passed out. <laughs> And then, and then one guy, his arm fell out of his lap like this, and he had fucking needle marks Jesus all over him. <laughs> and she was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, don't. But, That's hilarious. But, like, I would rather hang out in a train full of heroin addicts than, like, here in the Midwest, we have meth addicts. Those people are scary. They, uh, they scurry. Homeless folks just want to, the They're heroin addicts, just, they just want a place to fucking nap out, dude. They're tired. Remember the uh, first summer the club was open? We would go upstairs to take a little, oh, little, yeah. little J break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was that, uh, that was the first time I'd ever seen that. That was the first yeah. time I'd ever seen anybody banging the H train. As banging they dope, as they say in uh, AA classes. That was later. crazy. Have you ever so, seen, Carter, have you ever seen somebody bang the H train? No, I mean, yeah, probably. Like, I that's just because his uh, uh, girlfriend's name is Haley. I was just gonna uh, say, <laughs> uh, poor H. Was that person on heroin? I thought that person was on meth, but who knows? there was there was some of those. Yeah, it's like you can't just drug test them. You gotta just assume everything. I don't know. Like, I. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you uh, just piss on this real quick? <laughs> you just gotta toss it on the ground. <laughs> Do I have time to run away or not? Yeah, like, are you I, one of the quick should I leave now? Guys are like <laughs> <laughs> He's pissing his pants pass out. You're just like <laughs> wiping it off. Did you guys did you guys hear Spangler's story about a about a homeless person propositioning him to suck his dick? Jay Sparkles. Jay Sparkles. Have you guys heard this story? He got his dick sucked. I feel by like a homo? I feel like that's a bad idea. That's pretty uh, cuz you're like great. But then you for, <laughs> Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, hold on. Great starting level. <laughs> Well, I know your first instinct might be fantastic. I get a blowjob and I get money. I can just close my eyes and fucking <laughs> whatever. But listen, that's a bad idea because then you have to at some point pretend like uh, pretend like you've enjoyed this all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? How do you tell this guy to stop without without hurting his feelings? This guy, this this guy pay this guy paying money. He's not paying to blow you. He's paying to fucking get cummed on. Yeah, you got there. Sorry. So I'm saying, don't go down that path unless you can finish this. I got nothing, Spangler. You might be like, this is a great idea, and then you start in, and you're like, well, fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? You're, you should explain this to him before he gets caught up. He might get. He, I mean, he's probably already been there. Now. Guys, trust me. I know from experience. I mean, if he told us the story, <laughs> <laughs> if he told us the story, then he did it, right? He's like, oh, you know, this crazy that, thing that somebody offered me. He was with his ex at the time. 
when, his, I moved, when I moved to LA, there a house. Was, when I moved to LA, there was a guy. Yeah. I met. Are you just talking shit? No, I'm that just guy I met <laughs> told me this almost exact same story, like right off the bat. Like I knew him 15 minutes, and he was like, <laughs> "Yeah, so this one time, this old guy <laughs> said he'd pay me 75 bucks to blow me, and I was like, cool, whatever. I'm not gay, but 75 bucks, whatever." <laughs> And then he was like, yeah, and he started in. I realized, oh, crap, for me to get this guy to stop, I'm going to have to come. <laughs> What's... <laughs> Are you guys seeing now what, what a hilarious dilemma this is? Is now he's doing this gay thing and he's not into it, but he has to figure out a way to get into it he's in order to make like, it stop. I in order to make it stop, he has to get into it. I think that the amount of money would determine how quickly I'd come. <laughs> Carter, how much money would a homeless person have to pay you for you to do that deed? So there's that Danny Brown song, is 25 bucks to braid your hair? And like... We're not I, talking about braiding your hair. Well, I'm he's, just saying he's blowing your man. Meat. Braiding hair is harder than getting your dick sucked. I mean, you've I'm, obviously never braided hair. Yeah, no. Or suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking dick is hard. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> okay, so stop deflecting and answer the question. How much money uh, for me to blow you, for a homeless for person to blow you? Uh, yeah, no, just any homeless person. Any, I don't get to. Do I get to? They are coming to me with the offer. I they're guess. yeah, they're picking. approaching you in a dark alley so at night. So weird that I would want to pick homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who would you pick? You have your choice of homeless people. Who's your what's a fresh your, one? <laughs> yeah, which <what's your, laughs> newly homeless. <laughs> Austin. Yeah, homeless. Maybe one who doesn't know she's homeless. Oh no no, yet. you misunderstood. It is not a woman. <laughs> it's not a woman. <laughs> She said she runs away. It's a person this whole no, time. Dude. I was confused. I thought it's maybe it dude. was a woman. It's a dude. It's a presenting male. It's a homeless okay. male presenting. Does if RuPaul runs away from home for a little it's while. It's not RuPaul. I don't think you're getting anybody wearing the type of clothes you want them to be wearing. <laughs> they're going to look like Derek. So crazy. I'm judging. <laughs> they're going to look, like, they're gonna look like Derek had a rough month. And that's the women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so your number? It's probably forty four thousand dollars. Really? Well, that's thirty nine five. Number. You're in it. And also not <laughs> true. If if a homeless person presented you a hundred thousand cash or a thousand cash, if they had forty three, first off, why are you homeless? I would be like, hold up, hold up, hold up, forty thousand dollars. It's forty four. You just said a thousand to suck his dick. No, he's sucking yours. Oh, yeah. he's sucking yours. <laughs> you're not sucking his dick. Is it forty four in honor of Jackie Robinson? <laughs> that's forty. That's forty two. <laughs> So no. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what the number means. Yeah, why forty four thousand? It's just a comfortable amount for me. Like it's like not too crazy. That's so that's such a calculated number. You okay. know why you Honestly, said forty four thousand. You guys saw the the murder trial thing, the Mc, Where are Mc you whatever. Going with this. This the guy who killed his family. Murdoch trials, right? Do you see? Well, you need, Did he get his dick sucked by a homeless hero? person? He well he just Objection like, relevancy. <laughs> He was signing these illegal checks to people, and as long as it's under ten grand, it's not traceable. So I'm I'm revising. I'll take less money. It's not traceable. It's not. They, it doesn't raise red flags at the bank or whatever. You know. <laughs> I don't want people looking at. If your ass you're starts writing about the ten thousand dollar checks all over town, <laughs> <laughs> you're worried about if the bank is going. Is it taxable? You? I don't know, dude. Like, the bank does ask after a certain amount. They they want to they want to know what this is from. They do ask. And that's the part I'm nervous about. You can tell them. The you can tell them whatever you want to tell them, though. Yeah, you, don't yeah. write, you don't have to write down homeless fellatio. <laughs> you don't have to put. You can put. Found it, dude. You're gonna get know. in trouble if you're not honest with your fucking finances. The bank is easy to lie to. It really is. <laughs> you gotta be. You're gonna get in trouble if you let homeless people suck your dicks. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what's your number? W way less than forty-four thousand. Every, every how much you got? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Some let, is let that me some guys, beef let me guys, and a button? <laughs> let me ask you guys something. You're paying me. I once blew a dude for thirty-eight cents and a. And a half a roll of Smarties. <laughs> I let a guy blow me for a high five one time. <laughs> yeah, he was just. What are you, 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 you homeless homophobes? Oh, no. you <laughs> what? Okay, now what if what if, say, say this happens? This is, this is more realistic scenario. Oh, uh, say a a, a gay gay guy hits you up and he's like, hey. 
I'll give you $65. This has happened to Corbin. For a picture of your <laughs> armpit. Armpit? Oh, done. Yeah, Sid. done. Sid's yeah. Okay. I would just point him to several of the <laughs> pictures I already have online yeah. that uh, that I. But could what just, if he likes you? I could just give you the link. I guess I have several online. I'll just give you the links. <laughs> There's a lot of shirtless pictures of Luna, dude. On the I, internet. Some dude hit me up on Instagram and really was like, hot. "Hey, I'll give you sixty-five dollars if I can have a picture of your armpit." Done. I was like, "Yeah, oh yeah," in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah, I was on the road, too. I was like, yeah, send it. I need the money. <laughs> I got hustled by a gay guy out of a free foot pick. He was oh, like, I was with you. You were with me. I yeah. was with you. You were with me in this because the guy, he presented hustled. me with the same thing. Yeah, I got hustled. Like, I got Okay, let's start, let's start the story at the beginning. So, Harrison meets this guy on Grindr. No. And <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Craigslist. It was not Grindr. Um, I'm old school. You're on Craigslist looking for this, though. No, he's looking for Craig's feet. I'm looking for. I'm looking I'm to sell to these feet the victim. pics. I feel like I'm I, victim blaming. Yeah. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna you just tell the into story. This situation. No. Barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy hits me up and he's like, "How much would I have to pay you for some pics?" And I was like, "Of what?" And like he just started throwing up. <laughs> I would never answer that email. <laughs> I'm on the road. I need some extra money. Like, the hotels are getting Let tight. me get that kneecap. Like, yeah, I got to fucking... It depends on what it is. If it's an armpit situation, because I this was after Corbin's situation. So, like, this is already in my head. I'm so like, yeah, yo, I can get some... You know, some, it's possible. I can get some money. So, I'm like, okay, get, maybe. Well, what, what, what was weird is that happened to me, totally random thing, and... Then all of a sudden, Harrison out of the blue is like, hey, I got a guy doing it to me, too. Well, yeah, because like, I felt what's... comfortable to talk about it then. I didn't want to just bring it up if it hadn't happened to somebody else yet. I didn't want to break the ice with uh, selling myself online. <laughs> well, he, well, so Harrison had to bend over. I had my camera. Like, yeah, Corbin did, a, <laughs> Corbin did a great boudoir shoot of me <laughs> in the Holiday Inn. It was Baudoir. real classy. <laughs> boudoir. Yeah. Bring, bring that lamp over. Get the lighting <laughs> Get the lighting right. Did I say it wrong? No, I'm saying boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway. He was like, I said it six times. <laughs> Cor Corbin's armpit does look like Osama bin Laden coming out of that cave. Uh huh. And it also does look like a pussy. So. And it's <laughs> and it's on a comeback. Let me tell you. I mean, like people are asking for it. It's on a comeback. <laughs> How much has your guys' armpits made you? <laughs> so I thought, shut the fuck what up. The guy want? They've only cost you guys money. So I got I got hustled because How he much was like, "Money have you spent deodorant your whole life?" <laughs> Obviously not enough. <laughs> You guys are, are fucking sitting on gold What picks did he want from you? I'm trying to keep this on track. He gave me like he was like I was like what would you want cuz I was I wasn't going to I wasn't going to hang dong for the right price. I don't you know what I mean? Like if he did was like Did you say hang dong? No, but hang dong um, a minute. Dude. No, but he was just like he was like what about this? What about this? What about this? And then he said something about like he wanted to, he wanted to see your Denny's menu of of pictures, which is a normal. Yeah, what thing. do you usually only, do only, for an armpit? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have my rate set. I haven't consulted Corbin in a while to like figure out what my only fans sixty five dollars fucking <laughs> this is the going rate. That's for spot these rate. Things. That's spot spot pay sixty five dollars. So he was like, it was something like he was gonna give me, armpit. yeah, he was gonna give me fifty bucks for a uh like a, hey, a, sh a foot pick. If you are a Derek Luna show follower. Fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you subscribe now and you use code, yes, use the promo use code Derek code Luna. Osama bin Laden. Oh, no, Osama bin Laden. <laughs> use the promo code hashtag Osama bin Laden. Just and, DM uh, me the ha the the promo code and uh, I'll my send you my bins. Venmo and my hairy armpit. <laughs> we want to thank Corbin's armpit uh, photos for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> yeah. You're willing to shave, though, right? For a good one? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> okay. But anyway, he was like, okay, I'll send you some money for, I think it was actually like 75 bucks for a shirtless pick. And I was like, I'm cool with that. And then he was like, how about before so we, you do this, I wasn't cool with it being in the hotel room with him watching whatever. him take these pictures. <laughs> take the picture. No, I was going to go to the bathroom. Like a gentleman. You were going to, but you did, though, right? No, I While took a I was in the shower. I took a, I took a pick of my... <laughs> I took a pick of my feet, and because he, he want he wanted a, a he said he wanted a taste. <laughs> a taste. And I got hustled because I was like, "Fuck it! If you're gonna send me seventy, I can't believe." I didn't know because feet free. are so gross to me that it wasn't even like, "Oh, this is gonna be hot to him." I don't.
don't know, dude. I just thought it was a weird way to verify that it was like me and I wasn't fucking with her or some shit. You know, I don't know. Like when you tell somebody like, uh, hold up today's newspaper with an egg and a fork on your face or some shit. You know what I mean? Did your pimp beat you up? Because <laughs> you didn't have any money. <laughs> I came back without any money. Your internet pimp? Yeah, Corbin beat the shit out of me <laughs> yeah, that night. Corbin, Corbin beat From the, the shower, I'm me. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing your internet pimp that's like an IT guy. <laughs> Just a guy who has looks like story. Wingo. <laughs> hey, I've been checking the Venmo account. I don't see anything in there. <laughs> There's nothing in here. What do you? And I saw you send a picture off today. So uh, in the memo, it just has little footprints. <laughs> <laughs> you giving out free tastes? Benjamin's bitches don't give out free tastes. So, so some Russian pedophile has a picture of your foot. It's actually, not to brag, a black man, a gay black man. I don't think I needed to preface that, but it all, back <laughs> all the way back of the round. I'm here for the people, Chief Justices. Feet. I'm uh, selling my uh, feet pictures, not my actual feet pictures. I'll show you my but goddamn those, feet uh, right now. No. Those ones where the my when you're born, they put the ink <laughs> on the bottom of your feet and, I, and they put them on the cart. It's an old. It's a black and white foot pic. Yeah, I'm selling. In, uh, the previous episode, we had questions for black gay men. We were trying to get a black gay man on here to answer some questions for us. We didn't find one. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't find one in this room. <laughs> we we tried to do We didn't look that spray hard. Spray tan someone. <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> we tried to spray tan somebody. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't try really hard. <laughs> but the fact that Harrison has black gay guys after him. Oh, we're not friends Or anymore. before him. Oh, I'm not a fan. Next time this comes up, do the Chief Justices a solid. Get this guy on the show. Let's talk to him. Let's figure out what's going on. What kind of lotions do you use? Like <laughs> cocoa, cocoa butter. butter. <laughs> what do your feet look like? Like can we black? Nice. They look well, great. Is it cool if I call you brother? No. <laughs> <I'm not gonna laughs> <do that. laughs> but like a but like a Hulk like a Hulk Hogan brother. Like, no, me, can I can I do like a Hulk? I can't do like a Hulk Hogan brother. I can't do that. What's brother? Up, brother? brother? Uh, I saw on Curb Your Enthusiasm, brother is acceptable for white people. It's not acceptable. It's not? It is? It is. That's on, Wait cur a on Curb, it was. Leon, Leon said it was. Leon said it yeah. was. Well, if Leon says it is, then. A jackalit. A jackalit. <laughs> <Ejaculate. laughs> Earls. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I got hustled out of some money. I, got, I, I sent a free foot pick, and now I understand when I see all that shit on, because there are women all the time. They'll now Harrison thinks Instagram. about it every time he does it to a woman. <laughs> nah, feet are so gross, dude. I, know, it's I will say this, though. It did make me think of, like, yo, I can't believe all the times I've been like, yo, let me see something, and then just, like, never talk to him again. I'm like, oh. Okay, next issue for the Chief Justices. <laughs> it's related. Really don't worry. Issue, next issue for the Chiefs. Uh... Okay, so uh, assume that you're in defeat. You ask a lady for a foot pick. Say, yeah. I'll, I'll give you $50 for a foot pick. And she sends you a picture of her prosthetic leg. <laughs> Do you well, not I pay, A, not pay her because she technically didn't send you a picture of her foot? Do you, B, pay her <laughs> and cut your losses? <laughs> or, <laughs> or C... Pay or double because you feel terrible about this whole oh, situation. Oh, God, no, but I mean... I'm, I'm asking tough questions, and I know I know I am. Yeah, in my heart, but I But what are we say, doing? It's assuming you're in defeat, I'm asking for a friend. Go. Ha option D, half price. <laughs> half and half. I mean, is half it both price. feet? Is it one foot's gone, two feet's gone, Lieutenant Dan style? In a way she was opening up, I feel like you can get the next foot free. Like, uh, I think if you just bargain right. So I'd say pay your flat rate and then, and then bargain up for that other, you know, hopefully there is another foot for her sake. If there's, two, if there's two feet and one of them's fake and I paid for two feet, I'm upset. Because this is not a real foot. But you wouldn't feel bad. You, you wouldn't be like, okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't clarify. I, I would not pay. Sim <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't pay on the simple on the simple principle of bad business. Well, that's the money before. Motherfucker, I've been waiting three minutes to say this, oh, shit. and now you're fucking stomping all. Of it. You said three things about this topic, <laughs> motherfucker. I've been sitting over I here. I have his. I have his microphone. <laughs> Corbin has the floor. I'm done. Corbin's right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe that was a tough subject. I got, I got the, the first word. Uh, I had a big old punchline. 
Man, every time I talk How about... How often does that happen to every you? Time about, every time I talk about people with no feet, it ends up somebody's there who has no feet. Ends up with someone with a foot in their mouth. Yeah, I walk right into... <laughs> Chaco Pistorius. I walk right into it. Literally. Do you think people with no feet uh, or one foot uh, maybe think they're better than you? No. Because they I get wouldn't. to park closer. They get to up. use the fucking... Yeah, I mean... Oh, they the, got a little oh, attitude about me, it. I have one foot. Like, No. No. Probably not. I kind of bet there is. <laughs> there's there's fucking assholes in every group. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There's one guy. That's another thing that happened to me at work. I was talking... The problem is I'm going to judge the whole base on that one guy. Yeah. Because <laughs> you'll s- notice that guy. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. Who, par- <laughs> who parks pretty close and you're like, you can walk pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I know... This guy's a fake. <laughs> and the other thing is we laugh real hard about the 20 people that watch this show, but this show will cause trouble for one of us <laughs> later on in our I career. I hope it's Carter. I don't know who, it, I don't know who it's going to be. It'll be fun to find out, won't it? <laughs> it's going to cause problems for me in my sexual life. I've put a lot of people on blast here. So if anybody... You haven't said one name. Yeah. And you have AIDS? That They're... was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having sex with at least three of Derek's followers. God gave me you, <laughs> and if he wanted you to know I had AIDS, he would have told you. <laughs> this is on, terrible. On, let's let's uh, next topic. Do we have a next topic for the Chiefs? Let's uh, let's. How do we think Wingo's going to do out there? In the old yeah, New so York Wingo's City? moving to New York. Let's maybe land this on a serious note. Let's uh, being totally truthful because I hope he hears this. Uh, I think he's gonna struggle for the first little bit of time just getting his feet wet and uh then i think he's gonna excel rather quickly be totally honest yeah i can see that i don't think there's any way around the first bit of struggle it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard no matter what but i think wingo uh really has a chance (laughs) (laughs) you just about you just about got your mic yanked (laughs) i think wingo has a really good chance of uh doing a lot of great things in new york and i really hope that uh he sees that for himself and uh you know hope he comes out of the closet carter had i'm just kidding i'm just kidding he's gonna do a great job Carter, how do you think he's gonna do I think he's gonna do it. No, I don't. I, don't, I mean, why are you confused <laughs> by the same question? <laughs> Me, how how is Wingo gonna do? Why are you ruining my YouTube show? <laughs> are you dumb? I'm a liter- I can't read, but you, goddamn. Yeah, I think Wingo's. I think I think Wingo's <laughs> gonna do great out there. It's probably uncomfortable to live in New York City, but oh, so you're just takes, saying the same shit. He Corbin takes said a bus. Like he's he won't like have any place to live. No, he he won't technically. <laughs> Have a place to live in New York. He he'll just be homeless. Yeah. Betty wish he had a bus. <laughs> you can't park that bus. Where the fuck are you parking that in Manhattan? I don't know. You'd have to park that in Delaware or something. His house is three hundred fucking f- inches. <laughs> <laughs> He's living in a closet. You Did think he, he has room it? for a fucking bus? Did he get that closet? Did huh? he actually get the closet? Or do we I know if he took so. the spare I don't closet? Think so. But I do think Luna's right about that second one. He said being a fucking scam. Yeah, I think that he's gonna develop some scammy. new sexual. It, it looks scammy. Yeah. He's gonna develop some new sexual kinks. I think you were kind of. No, no. I think he's gonna closet. be more open with those oh, sexual kinks. He's gonna do some weird shit with ladies he's in New do York. Some freaky shit in New York. Oh man. Yeah, he's a delinquent, dude. No, I don't think he's gonna let an old dude suck him off. <laughs> That's what I was... Yeah, he's gonna live with the homeless for a while. Wingo, if you're watching this. Don't go down this road, And we brother. know that you are. Don't go down this road. It's a bad idea. 44000 is the number. That's one month in a Manhattan apartment. 44000 That's what Carter said. Steve. Go ahead. I, you got a lot of opportunities, financial and otherwise, for your ass and your mouth. So just like, I don't know, just try to... Put yourself out there. Did you give a promo? Yeah. Like, I'm talking. I'm is talking. This a, is this a pump-up? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, he, like he's here. Like he's, this is how to make money the easy <laughs> way with Carter Van Cook. You got a lot of financial opportunities for your ass in your mouth. 
Between those two, you get a whole digestive tract to fill with all whatever you want. He's a handsomish man. I think if he really needed to sell his body, he'd be able to make it. Yeah, he looks oh, younger yeah. than me. I, mean, I think he's it'd be killing it. It'd probably be hard to be a comic and a prostitute, like because they overlap hours yeah, a little bit. True, yeah. So it's hard to. No. Are there day would, Are there daytime <laughs> hookers? What what would it be harder to do? Hook in the daytime or do comedy in the daytime? Comedy in the daytime for sure. <laughs> yeah, people every, want to bust a nut. Oh, people want to fuck People are always, oh, yeah. people people fuck are whatever. always <laughs> horny. Yeah. <There> might, <laughs> daytime for sure. <laughs> there might be a better market. There might be a better market actually for for pussy in the daytime. I've never ran across a guy who's like, yeah, I don't want a blowjob. <laughs> it's too light out. It's too bright. You know. Oh, something else. I think you'll see this, too. I think you'll see his comedy. Well, it'll get uh, even better than it already is just because you're in a competitive New York environment. And then I also think it will get, what's the right word, like stranger? Dark? Yeah. More unique? He's got more experiences. Yeah, that's going to be It'll be so just good. more unique You'll, because you're trying to stand out in a sea of just comedians. There's one thing I thought about, like, uh, Tyler Large and Horner when they came back from Austin. Like, yeah. at that one time, shout out to those dudes. Yeah, Tyler you could see their stuff was, like, just un more unique than it had been. So good. Just because you f naturally are going to start doing things to try to stick out and stand out. So that'll be fun to watch. I wonder what it'll be. I think, like you said, darker sexually, and Ooh, that'll gross. reflect in his bits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gross. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, we're, it's about that time. But, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens with him. And uh, we will have him. I'm going to have him on the YouTube show, just me and him. He's a great guy. I want to get his thoughts on what he thinks uh, on his way out to New York. I want to hear how scared he is and what he dreams about at night <laughs> and uh and what could go wrong and how he makes him feel uh, makes himself feel better when he's crying <laughs> well i think he's gonna do a great job harrison your thought um i do too and this is the last question i want to give you guys how long until we see him again after this i don't know two three weeks when he moves <laughs> 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 I'm just how, long, how long is a lease in New York? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go to New York every couple months. Ooh, and uh, so I'll probably see him fairly often. Okay, yeah, well, I'll right. take a trip to New York. Yeah, see old Joshua. I think he's gonna do great too. I think he's a, I think he's a, a good joke writer, and I think that you guys are all spot on. So I'm also, not gonna fucking triple down on it. I think once he gets to New York and is able to, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, Chris will headline him like oh, for a sure. one nighter at the Blue Room, and yeah. you know, do one night off days, one nighter. No. And start to do the road more and shit like that. I'll get a chance to open for him, maybe. Well, I didn't. Say I don't that. think so. He's gonna <laughs> blow up and forget all of us. They're gonna want a. They're gonna want a female or a trans person. He's gonna. He's, he's gonna bring his own feature and and host. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna say? Damn, did I do it again? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Um. Everybody, do your plugs and let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh. Well. Uh. Harrison Broadstreet on all social medias, so. like I said earlier. Uh, Carter and I have a show. You're on that too. We're in Kansas City. So, fucking, uh, will this be out before then? The casual animal, casual animal brewing. Casual animal brewing. The she's nasty show. It'll be great. Um. So yeah, that's it for me. Corbin, <laughs> where can we find you online, Corbin? Uh, at Corbinly Master underscore and at Corbinly Master on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be. <laughs> uh, for the jealous folk. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, next is this coming out by next week? I don't know when it's coming out. I was telling people to where well, the, where can they find your dates online? Oh, dude, they're not even online. Oh, twenty three, twenty fifth. Everybody, Toledo buckle up. We gotta listen to Corbin read it, all of his dates. <laughs> 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 New York. I'll put some music underneath this. So it, oh, actually, this is this so is it one. Goes a uh, I'm headlining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm headlining <laughs> Sisyphus Brewery. I hate. I hate all you guys. <laughs> all right, we're good. Uh, Carter Fan Cook, <laughs> C A R T E R P F A N K U C H, uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Plugs. I wish I had them or could yeah. afford them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been the Chief Justices. We'll do this again soon. Uh, hopefully. 
little post game press. I know these twenty folks watching. They they're gonna love this. So we'll see you next time.